Hello, my name is Corey from First Tech Challenge Team 9779 The Pie Eaters, and with the upcoming Relic Recovery season, our team knew we wanted to use Vuforia to read the pictographs, and we just wanted a way to see how difficult it was to use Vuforia, and here's what we did to check it out. So here we are in Android Studio, and you're going to want to make sure that you have the latest SDK. If you don't, then you can go watch our video on updating the SDK. So First has made it pretty easy for us to use Vuforia this year, and they've made it pretty much just like a sensor. So let me show you. So first it's given us these sample op modes and the FTC robot controller, Java, or first inspires that FTC robot controller, and then right here under external samples. And if we come down to concept VU mark identification and open that up, this is the class that pretty much shows us how to use Vuforia. So we're gonna copy this class over into our op modes by right clicking it and then copying it. And then coming down to team code, java, org.firstinspires.ftc.teamcode, and then just right clicking that folder and pasting it in there. It's going to ask us to name it, and we'll just name it Vuforia test. So, this is an op mode that first has given us to show us how Vuforia works. There's a lot of comments in here that show you how it works and um, how to set your Vuforia up. So make sure you read all the comments. Like this comment down here, right here where it says um, to obtain the license key, you have to go to the Vuforia website. So we'll just copy that code right there. And then go to our web browser and paste it in to search it. We've already created an account, but um, the first thing you're gonna need to do when you come to this website is to make an account. It's free, and once you're there, you're going to want to click this Add License Key. And we picked Development. So now you'll just have to name it, which we already did, so um, we'll just go back. Uh, we named ours first Tech Challenge T9779, so we'll just go inside of there. And then once you're there, you'll see this code, and that's your licensing key. So we'll just highlight that and then copy it and then go down to Android Studio and paste it in right where this green line is. Um, you're gonna wanna be in between the quotes and scroll all the way down and select everything in between the quotes and then paste it in there. And then there's one more thing we need to do which is to make sure that the op mode's not disabled so we'll scroll up to the top and right here where it says at disabled we'll just put, um, we'll just comment that out. And then we're done, so we'll upload it to the phones. So now we have the phones with the uploaded op mode, and I'll just select it from the list and turn the timer off so it goes forever. And then when we run it, you can see over on this phone, um, it has a camera that shows what view 4 it sees. Um, and like I said, this is a sensor, so it has four states. So if I just uh, point it at nothing, over here you can see it says the VU mark is not visible. And then if I point the phone at the first one, uh, you can see down there uh, it says view mark right visible. So this would mean that you'd have to put the glyph into the right column. And if we go over to the next one, it'll say left visible down on the phone. And then the last one would be center visible. So hopefully this was an easy way to get you started with Vuforia.